Hi, Philip. Hello. We're just so happy to have you here in um, IFASHA 2025 with uh, the Alligo booth. Of course, like this is your the most beautiful work presented in our booth. So um, could you please tell us more about yourself and also the background of like all of this beautiful butterfly shares? So basically, I'm an industrial designer from Berlin. I studied industrial design. It means designing products for the mass industry. But there are some industrial designers that also start to design very specific objects that are not for the masses, yeah. like this one, like sculptural furniture pieces. And over the years, I developed a lot of passion for this kind of products because they're kind of more emotionally and more captivating for uh, all the individuals. And yeah. in design, something much more important than designing very generic objects because, yeah, that's something more remarkable yeah. and it has the potential to change how we think and it also has the potential to showcase the potential of 3D printing in many different ways. And yeah, you see like the shapes are very free yeah. and very extrovert. And yeah, that's the idea. We should use the potential of this new technology to create very specific and very, yeah, very free shapes that expresses our inner feelings. Yeah, we can definitely tell your personality through your project here. So, uh, do you mind to let us know the actual workflow of creating a project like this? Okay, so I'm a lot into 3D modeling. Yeah. That means uh, you are on a computer, you create a 3D model of an object. Uh, my favorite 3D models are often made of free forms like this one, like shapes that are very free in the room that are not uh, rectangular or not uh, yeah, straight. Yeah. And I really like soft shapes. And then after creating the 3D shape, you have to think about how to print it in the end. So in this case, I printed it in six parts. You see there's made of six different parts. Yeah. And yeah, this was like the most efficient way to print it on the Elego Giga that yeah. you have here, yeah. which is very kind of big. You have like almost one a cubic meter where you can print objects. Of course, this is much bigger than one cubic meter. And the challenge in this case was to create one of the biggest chairs with the Lego Giga. And yeah, I think for now, it's probably the biggest chair that was ever printed on the Lego Giga. What is kind of nice. And I'm very proud of, proud of it. Yeah, we can tell like this is the largest chair, of course, in maybe in the IFA show 2025 about all these brands. And like people really love this chair. They Everyone sits on this chair are so happy about it and feel comfortable and cute and uh, feel the freedom, like your thoughts on that. Do you mind to introduce uh, like how Alagoo's product, like the Giga you mentioned before, helps you and also the brand itself, like through all the creative progress. Okay, so as I'm a, like a young industrial designer, yeah. it's quite expensive to create very specific shapes like this one or the other chairs. Yeah. And for my case, the Lego Giga was like the most efficient and cheapest way for me to create this kind of shapes without having to spend tons of money using industrial machines or anything. Yeah. So the Lego Giga is easy to use and I started to build all my furniture pieces because since four or more years, <laughs> I've created like tons of designs yeah. and these designs are very good to be manufactured on the Lego Giga. Yeah. And that's why I'm very glad I'm, I will keep printing these. And of course, it's not for the mass industry, but it's more for the individual and individual. there would be like single pieces. Yeah. Maybe there will be one or two times, but it is not a product for the mass industry. Anymore. Yeah, well, let, as we, we can see, like the, the kids, he was so enjoying of this. So we can we can learn from what you thought yeah. just through that kids. So right? yeah, yeah. yeah, you said before that if even kids understand the design, like yeah. it's a very good compliment and it has a lot to say because I think shapes and designs are a language yeah. and if even kids understand this language, yes. it's like it's very understandable for everyone. And everyone. So it means yeah. the design has yeah some kind, it, it gets understood by the people and that's the sense of design, I think. Yeah, I really, really love the explan uh, explanation of all of it. So um, maybe you are creating something new. So what is your next project and are you going to involve the 3D printers um, in this progress as well? So I am striving a lot of different projects. 
my main goal in the future in the next years is to bring uh, 3D printed furniture into the furniture design industry because the furniture design industry doesn't have much 3D printed furniture pieces for now. Yeah. And I think it has a great potential because furniture designs and especially specifically sculptural pieces are very great for 3D printing. That's a great opportunity to produce decentralized yeah. and to produce with the specific wishes of every individual because I think anyone in the world has like a very own taste yeah. and we don't have like all the same taste. And with 3D printers, we can always change the designs a little bit and we can like, yeah, satisfy the people by giving them what they want and not what's already there. So they can, before you create a design, you can tell them, hey, do you want some tiny changements? Do you want this shape like that or like this? And the designer can change this. And in the end, the final consumer yeah. gets a design that he maybe also helped to design a little bit yeah. or he could like decide which details fits to their own personality. And I think this is a great opportunity, specifically because furniture design pieces are very valuable pieces. This, it's like for pe many people, furniture design is like clothing. It fits to the personality. Yeah. But of course, clothing is on your body, but furniture design is in your room. Okay. And when you invite people into your room, uh, they see your personality, your room, which is your identity in the same time. And yeah. You want okay. also to present it in a great way and in a very creative way. So Yeah, I I'm totally agree with it because I, I think this is what Algoist also wanted to do. We wanted to make um, a 3D printer and as a tool, as a technology that accessible for everyone. Yes. And people can just use it to create anything, any form they wanted to yes. do. And just to make everyone have the ability to have the freedom of creativity. Yeah. yeah, so um, would you mind to sit down here and oh, so showcase so. the butterfly yourself? Okay. Yeah. yeah, here's the butterfly. Yeah. So, oh. so you see it's stable. No one expected it. So this is really cute. Yeah. I think um, thank you so much, Philip, for like having this interview with us for today. I think like people will keep loving it through like the whole IFA show during the next three days. Thank you so much. Thanks thank to you. you.